Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS3 controller to your PEC running the brand new Windows 11 in 2022. So now let's jump with the video. So for this setup, there's a few things you need. So first, your controller, then the cable that came with the controller, and then your computer. So you can use PC or laptop, it doesn't matter. And also the Windows version, you can use any Windows version from Windows 11 all the way down to Windows 7. So now uh, let's just jump with the video. And also guys, my voice like because I'm kind of sick. So now we're just going to open up Discord. Make sure you join using the link in the description. A Discord is also slash Femtech. And then you get Apple links. And this is the uh, thing you need. So it's right here. Great. So just copy the link right here. And now open up the Chrome and click on Paste. So this is the thing you need. And now click on Download. If there's any ad, just ignore it and click on Save. And you're going to see it will it download it uh, pretty quickly. Also, uh, as you said, it's, it's 7-zip. So that's why there's another software we need. It's a, a winner. For for a zip file, so make sure you download it. Uh, you download the make sure you download the 64 bit. And now you just gonna open it up. Click on yes. And click on install. And click on and also if you if you want you can check this and also that and then click on OK and click on done. Now you're gonna see it will say thank you and now now if you just go right here. So now if you just go to my download, you're gonna see that file is zip file and that is the thing we need so if you don't have the winner make sure you download it and now it's just gonna close all the other stuff now we're just gonna open it up so just go to your download right click on it right and click on show more option and click on extract tool with this it will just a create a file and now you can just a, 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 a delete the zip just like that and now we're gonna click on it and click one more time and then you're gonna click on the bin and now we're gonna click on the spc driver but before you do that make sure you connect your controller to your PC using the cable. Now you're gonna hear the sound and you're gonna see your controller a flashing just like that. So now you're gonna just tap on the uh, driver and click on yes. And now you're gonna see you're gonna see something like this. You can uncheck that and now there's a two now I'll just zoom in for you guys. And now you're gonna see there's a, a few options in the bottom. So the option this a blue driver that is the thing we don't need. That is only for a, a, if you are connecting via wireless. So now I'll show you how to do that. So if you if you are connecting via a Bluetooth using a PS3 controller, you can actually do that using a USB dongle. So I actually don't have a dongle right now. But things if you have a, like a USB dongle from a, like old keyboard and mouse, you can use that as a, a receiver. So if you have that, you can just grab it and then make sure you check this. But things if you're just connecting like me, it's just using the cable, you, you can uncheck that. And configure service, you can uncheck that and click on force install. If you use the software before, make sure you click on uninstall and then install again because this is the, a, a new driver. And also, if your controller don't work, make sure you come right here. Then just do a, a, a another for, for force install and make sure you uninstall the uh, uh, last one first. So make sure you uninstall the old one and then you can install it again. Now just click on install. And if you see this, just click on install. And now this will take some time. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Then you're gonna see install is successful. So now, now just give it a few seconds, and now you're gonna see on a controller. You're gonna see it will. So I think we're gonna check this box and see if you install again and see if this time work. Boom! It worked immediately. As we said, it's on player two, and then now it stopped flashing. So make sure you check this uh, configure service. If you don't do it, it's not gonna work. So uh, uh, it don't be like me. So make sure you check the second box and uh, Bluetooth driver you can uh, uncheck that. Now just uh, 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 minimize this and now if you just hold the position button you're gonna see it will what up the game menu. So I'll just uh, zoom out for you guys. As you can see the controller is working. That is pretty cool. So as you can see the controller works absolutely fine. There's no problem or anything. So if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you need to my channel. So see you guys on the next one. Then peace out.